Oh, blasted. How does Miss Nara do these hand gestures? They're so complicated. Oh. Oh. Hey. Good to see you. Did you... What are you, what are you doing out here? What? What am I doing out here? I mean... I'm just doing a bit of practice, you see. I, Miss Nara came by to teach some of the younger ones spells. And I thought I'd join in, uh, looking at some of the spells out there. Yeah. She was showing off this whole bunch of spells. And one of the ones I was looking at was uh, Earth Tremor. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm out here. I didn't want to cause too much damage to the building and... So I thought about practicing out here, but some of the gestures for the somatic components are quite complicated. Maybe I should take a rest. My hands feel quite uh, stressed out. Tense is the word I would say. What are you doing out here? I'm sorry, it's none of my business to be asking. Uh, did you pick up the spells that I suggested in the library? I mean, you, you didn't have to. It was just a suggestion of the spells that I... I mean, battle magic is one of the requirements. You need to have at least some bits to actually graduate. So I I would just choose my favorites, but that's just me. I mean, you don't have to be your favorites. I was just suggesting. Yeah. Some of the battle magic out there is a bit complicated. It requires a clear mind. I mean, that's why out here it's really nice to... In the forest... Yeah, I mean, being able to fill up the spell book and practice out here alone is very nice. I mean, I haven't seen a cougar or anything out there, but maybe I can sneak a peek at one of those larger cats. I mean, they're dangerous, but hopefully I'll protect myself. Some of these spells that we learned are quite strange, though. Don't you agree? Oh, yeah. Color spray? Right here, look at this. They teach us this. And it's like a pinch of powder or sand that's colored. Just creates a, just a spectral color light spring from your hand. It's ridiculous. Why would someone need that? I'm concerned about the sanity if we need to learn something like that. But... Oh yeah, it's, it's it's just like a spray of sand and paint, basically. I mean, I suppose if you'd like to blind people, that'd be about it. That's just... Yeah, I know, it's quite strange. I mean, some of the enchantment magic still, I'd like to learn some of that a bit more, though. Of course, enchantment magic is quite amazing. I mean, I hear there's, like, uh, <laughs> this spell that can make people laugh. Hideous laughter? They don't teach it to us uh, first and second years, though. We have to wait for that. They did teach us sleep, though. That's an option. Uh, so if any big cat does come out here, perhaps I'll just make them fall asleep. And then I can run back to the school. <laughs> Quite. Uh, it's beautiful out here, don't you think? I really admire all this nature. Uh, I wish we could actually have this in the main hall. I mean, look at these beautiful trees out here. <laughs> Sorry. Pardon me too much. I don't need to... Speak. You think it's fine? Yeah. I mean, in town you don't see, like, beautiful fields like this. All this nature growing. Most people tear up the ground to make roads but I mean it's better for us I guess to be able to travel and whatnot. so how's your studies going oh well, that's good I mean your first year so I don't expect it to be too difficult unless they've changed it in just one year it shouldn't be that difficult and I think they know that yeah. I mean, second year is when they really start throwing some things at you. You actually have to learn a few things. Oh well. It's fine by me. Practice makes perfect, as Miss Nara says. 
And if I'm out here practicing, maybe I can learn some of the more powerful spells that she has under her tool belt. I mean, uh, you know, it's getting, uh, oh man, it's approaching nightfall. I think we should head back, but would you mind uh, just sitting here with me for a bit and watching? Look at the creek over there. The birds nearby. It's a beautiful place. And sometimes it's just a escape the chatter of all the students at the school. It just feels nice, don't you think? Oh, um, I don't think we properly introduce ourselves. I'm Tassara. Yes. <laughs> it's good to meet you. Uh, yeah. The school's very nice. I mean, I came here voluntarily. There's magic in my family. We've always studied it. So I thought it'd be best to hone my skills and follow with my mother and father's footsteps this way. Quite. Ah. This place is amazing. So you can just feel all the magic in the air. We're not that far away from the school, but I think we're on it, like a ley line. Into, and I believe the school may be a nexus point. And that's might something we have to be studying later, but that's what I think. So I think the uh, Archmage gets most of his power by drawing from the nexus point. It wouldn't be far-fetched to gain power that way. What? You don't know what a ley line is? Oh, boy, how do I explain this? Um, so, uh... <laughs> You know how we have veins and stuff that the blood plumps through? Well, the world itself, it has its own veins and magic. Yes, so underneath the earth is where the magic flows. And when they cross paths, these veins of magic, ley lines, it makes a nexus point where magic is amplified. I mean, try to use the detect magic here. You might see a bit more naturist magic than you'd <laughs> expect. I mean, I haven't seen any more magic creatures. I've seen, like... I have seen a fairy fly by. Beautiful beetle wings. It was, like, six inches tall. Half a foot. It was quite beautiful. And I just... It's a spectacular image to see. I tried to approach, but they... They are speedy. For that small, they are quite fast. It's amazing. Extraordinary, really. Oh, but you're right, it is getting dark out. We should probably head back. Um, yeah. Here, hold my book for a second. I need to get up. <sighs> Don't make fun of me. I, I'm not the fittest person out there. <laughs> Sometimes it's an effort to <laughs> even walk up some stairs. I am intelligent, though. That's... I will make... A floating disc that I can glide upon. Think about that. <laughs> just being able to just ride a floating disc everywhere, standing on top of it, hovering across the floor. Uh, one day, one day I'll make it. <laughs> It'll be quite the spectacle to see. I'm sure everyone would want one. But we should probably hurry, you're right. Oh, it's getting dark. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark. 